When it comes to your stream, is the one thing that you're lacking good design? Well, if so, this video is gonna be great for you because we're gonna be talking about a solution called Placeit in just a second. Roll that intro. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about Placeit. Placeit is a great website that is used for templates for tons of things, whether that's gonna be overlays of what we're talking about in this video and even cards for something like Twitch, even over to videos and motion graphics and tons of web designs for templates for maybe even t-shirts, the tags for t-shirts, and tons of mock-ups and other things out there on the internet that you might find useful. So we're gonna jump into that in just a second, but before we do that, let's take a look at our sponsor for this video. This video is sponsored by Placeit. Make unlimited mockups, designs, logos, and videos with thousands of easy to use templates. Customize all templates online in just a few clicks. No designer video editing skills needed to get professionally made graphics and videos. Check out Placeit in the description down below for more information and to support how to tech. Now back to the video. So now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at place its website so you guys can get a feel for some of the Twitch templates that we're gonna be taking a look at today and other things that you might be interested in. And I also wanna go ahead and state that there are tons of other templates and things that you can do on this website. There's stuff for mockups, for products, designs of what we're gonna be looking at today, but also for designs for YouTube templates, flyers, a bunch of other things as you can read on the top of the screen. And then also the options for logos, specifically gaming related content and even stuff for videos such as intros, outros, and promotional content and stuff as well. Like I said, tons of neat things on Placeit. I just want you guys to be aware that this is not just something for Twitch, but also that there is a ton of stuff for Twitch as well. So let's go ahead and look at some of these, you know, awesome templates that they have. So taking a look at some of the first things we can see, we can see that there are some offline screens, Twitch panel makers, and even some, you know, uh, banners for Twitch overlays and a bunch of other really neat things. And we can also go through here on the left hand side and we can search what we are looking for. So if we need lower thirds, stream overlay makers, and even search by tag. So there, there's a bunch of really neat ways to find exactly what you're looking for and kind of sort those out on this uh, website. So let's go ahead and start messing with maybe a uh, offline screen so we can go ahead and show you guys how this works because it's not that difficult honestly and it's it's surprising how neat it is and the fact that I had never seen this before so I, I actually really like this website so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use flux underscore 2d and we're just typing this text over here on the side and yeah we're just gonna kind of take a look at what we can make this look like and act like we're rebranding the stream or something like that. I think that'd be a really neat concept. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. So this says offline, and you can see at any point in time, we can actually toggle these things and it removes them. And we'll do that in a second. So I don't have a Facebook page, so I'm gonna go ahead, I actually do, I just don't know the link to it. And you know, for gaming, maybe you don't, and it's not as important to you. So we're gonna toggle that, hide it. And then we're also gonna to toggle the Discord and hide it as well. And we're just gonna paste in flux underscore 2D for the social medias. And we can see that that's already done. And that was super easy. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and let's go ahead and change this and put some colors to it. I'm gonna change mine to maybe a light blue. And then let's make this maybe a darker blue. So let's go ahead and change all that stuff to maybe a little bit darker. Let's see. No, I'm kind of liking maybe right around there. Yeah, maybe not. Yeah, let's just go with that. So yeah, now we can see that we already have an offline screen that's done. This says Flux 2D is currently offline. And we see that this uh, color doesn't match. Yes, um, this is something that we're not gonna really be able to adjust here. And that's okay, because we can actually find a different image or we can upload our own, or we can just completely remove it. So there's all these options if we want them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in blue and hopefully we can find something that matches and I already see something I like. I like this right here. And yeah, we can see that there is currently a problem with this blue. Um, it, it's this blue background, and that is that it's actually kind of clipping into this and it looks bad. So we can actually crop this as well. And we can zoom in the crop more 
and let's try that and see and maybe just a little bit more so we'll crop it just a little bit more and let's actually slide it over that way we get more of this action going over on this other side and take a look at that there we go and you can see now we have an offline screen that we made super super quick and this is very easy and all we have to do now is we could actually save it as a draft so we could come back to it we can add this um, template right here to our favorites we can share it to other people so they can have access to it as well and we can also go in and add a graphic so for example if we had um, a logo that we already created we could upload that or we could find another graphic in here so let's say for example my logo was this flaming skull we could click on it add it in and scale it and put it wherever we wanted to so we could just add it right there and we could say this is done and we can see actually with this that this gives us options for customization as well which is actually kind of cool so let's go ahead and make this a light blue as well and yeah we can see how this is kind of you know contrasting pretty well and looks good with this maybe we can do a gray we could kind of mess with this as you can see and now we have an offline screen and what I'll do now is go ahead and click download and all it's going to do is process our design and whenever it's done they will send you an email but it doesn't take long at all for photos and videos obviously uh, honestly don't take that long as well so that's pretty cool and now all I gotta do is click download and I'll go ahead and save my photo and we can open it up inside of our photo viewer it may take a moment and we can see now this is our offline screen. It looks really nice, really clean, high quality, and it was done very quickly without any graphic design knowledge needed. And like I said, we could add in our own custom logo. If we don't have one, we could add in just a neat clip art or something inside of place it. And it was really easy to do. And another thing I wanna go ahead and show you guys is some of the stuff that I've currently made. And these are kind of some t-shirt mock-ups and stuff too that you might wanna do if you have maybe some branding of stuff that you wanna do as far as sell some merch. So let me go ahead and pull that up and I'll show you guys that. So here is the first design I made. I went for kind of like a um, Miami kind of like hotline kind of thing. And we can see that we've got a you know, pink and light blue. And this was something that I made really quick and it was kind of just a design mock-up and this would look really neat on a t-shirt. And then I went for this, just kind of some textual stuff. And also this last one, how to tech media, HTT media. And it, it was very easy to make these. And I made all of these in probably less than 20 minutes. And this is just something else you can come to expect. So let's go ahead and get back to some of the Twitch templates and let's make maybe something else, maybe a card or something that way you guys can get a feel for some of the other things that we can do as well. Um, you know, we could do the cards. I'm going to show you guys how to edit the cards and we, we'll probably go ahead and do an overlay as well. That way you guys can get a full feature set of some of the things that you can make inside of here. So yeah, we can see that uh, join my channel and then Discord, and then we could put join uh, the Flux Discord. Um, and then we could do join the Flux, uh, I have no idea what I would call my subs. Um, let's say the Flux Boys. Join the Flux Boys Discord. Um, we could do something like that. Uh, we could even go through and update the color of the text, make that look however. And you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is great because this is for Discord, but the problem I'm gonna run into is definitely um, that this isn't gonna work for something like YouTube. And that would be correct, but we can actually fix that. So let's do YouTube and find the YouTube button and we'll replace this here. And you guys can probably already see, um, we'll just put subscribe to Flux, and then we'll just put YouTube. We'll do YouTube there, and we can actually scale these as well if we wanted to. So we'll just click in, and this is something you can do even with the other stuff that we've already looked at today. Um, you could you know, scale the other things uh, on that other template. I didn't really cover that too well. I apologize for that. And we could go ahead and change this background out. Um, yeah, make it a little bit red to match kind of YouTube's um, kind of theme here. And we'll change this to a white. 
and maybe we wanted to make this a little bit of a different color instead of white on this text maybe make it more gray or whatever color that we want to do obviously you want to go for a mcdonald's theme make it yellow uh, you just have a bunch of options for customization and once you're done it's the same thing as well you just click download it's going to process your design and then it's going to let you download this image and then it's just as simple as uploading it just like any other card the last thing we're going to take a look at today is an overlay and i'm not really sure which one i want to go with let's jump into this one looks kind of cool let's let's use this one and we're gonna go ahead and click on it. And yes, whenever you're on PlaySets website, stuff does take a little bit longer to load, even if you have fast internet, because it's loading the workspace so you can edit things. And I just want that to be thrown out there. It's not your internet being slow. It's not the website being bad. It's the fact that it's literally loading essentially a video editor into your, or a photo editor into your browser, and sometimes a video editor into your browser, essentially, so you can do all of this stuff. And I've done this also on a Chromebook, and it worked as well because I wanted to test this. And then I've also done it on a high end computer like I'm doing right now, and it works on both. So you don't have to have the best of the best computers to make this work. And that's something to kind of throw out there. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do this, we'll just flux underscore 2D. And we can see that this text is already changing. We can see that this is a logo just dropped in and we'll update this in a minute too. And yeah, so I don't see where it says crewmate. Oh, that's because that is actually disabled. And yeah, we can see that this would add in our Twitter and Discord. So we could actually do this and imposter. Nope, that was the wrong one. And then we'll do that. So now we just have this again. And yeah, let's just do the same thing that we did last time. Let's just paste these in. Um, and then I think this one, yes. So now we've got that. Um, if we wanted to add our latest sub, we can, or we could just remove it entirely. If maybe we don't have the option for subscribers or other things out there, we can adjust this to however we see fit. We could add also options for donations and stuff to show up here too. Um, this is just going to be text. Obviously you'll have to do some work in OBS to make it show up there, but yeah, it's super easy. We could add text in there. Um, if we wanted this to be the link to our live stream, we could, or we could do, um, um, a hand cam. If you guys are, um, for instance, playing um, PC games and you have to have like fast reaction times and stuff like that. And you want people to see your mouse or maybe a mouse cam might sound a little bit better. So we'll do like a mouse cam and you guys could see specifically the person's mouse or maybe that's just a secondary cam of um, your cat. So we'll call this cat cam and maybe maybe dog cam. Maybe we got a dog. So we'll just do dog cam and you just have a picture of your dog or uh, your dog right under your desk or something and have your camera pointed at it. You, you could see what you could do here and there's a bunch of neat options. And then also, once again, if we don't like the way this font looks, we can scroll through all of these and let me scroll down the page here. Yeah, we can see what kind of options we have for them. So maybe I wanted to go with this Korma font. I think that looks kind of cool. We could do that, pull this up and kind of center that wherever we want that text and we could adjust and change all of that on the fly too. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set that back to what I think the first one was. Yeah, we'll leave it on this and yeah, we'll go ahead and also change some colors. So let's go for like a blue theme again. So this is kind of like a medium dark blue. This is something I would suggest to you. If you like the actual design of this, try to keep the color somewhat similar. So if this is a light color, maybe try to keep this a light blue. And then if this is a dark green, maybe try to make this a dark green. And if this is more like a pastel green, try to make it more of a pastel blue. And if you don't really understand that, by all means, just screw around with it and figure out what works best for you. Because I'm actually finding out right now, I'd probably want this to be white to border this because I think that would probably look a little more clean and now we can select our chat filter color and maybe I want this to be gray overlay so let's do kind of a gray background and then our entire background let's do like a light blue feel to it and then we also have our logo and then our background as well so maybe we want to go with um, this background here um, oh, we're actually moving everything. Let's put that back. Let's reset that layout. Okay. 
There we go. And now, and, and that's the cool thing about this too, guys. If, if you notice you accidentally messed something up, just go ahead and reset the layout and throw it around, do whatever you want to. And we can see this is actually from Among Us. And let's go ahead and change that picture up because it doesn't look that great, honestly, on this right here. So let's search something for gaming and see what we can find that works. Maybe we want to go with more of a, like, uh, yeah, maybe more like an adventure type theme. So we'll go with something like this. You can see some of the mountains, cool things like that. And I screwed the layout up again. That's okay. So we'll adjust this back. And yeah, so one thing that we can see now is our text is kind of clashing because it's white. And maybe we'll make this kind of a gray so this shows up. Or maybe even make this blue, kind of a dark blue that stands out or a light blue. So yeah, we'll go with that. And the last thing is let's update our logo. And we can change our logo to being anything else that's here but I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it and I'm gonna change this to a light blue as well to kind of get those colors that we're looking for. And as you guys can see here, we made a completely custom and what are the odds somebody's gonna have this exact same, you know, overlay as me? Well, it could happen because somebody could go in and do the exact same things you've done, but here's the neat thing. You could change all the text, you could change the logo, you can import your own logo that you make even from this website. So you can go make one, make it super custom and then throw it in here. And you can adjust some of the layouts inside of here, change colors. There is a lot of options for you inside of this. And also it's, it's just really easy to use. So yeah, guys, um, if you guys enjoy this and maybe it's something you're interested in, you know, using, go ahead and check out the link down below. Thank you guys to Envato, uh, place it by Envato for sponsoring this video and check out our link down below. Click it. It helps support the channel. And yeah, thank you guys for watching this and let's jump to the outro. So, all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Go ahead and destroy that like button and get subscribed here to How To Tech on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for five thousand subscribers we are growing at such an insane rate and also big thanks to place it for sponsoring this video because honestly before place it even contacted me i never knew that this service existed it's very affordable and very useful and a great utility for people out there that are not well versed with graphic design or video design and it makes it super easy to get nice and consistent branding all at the click of a button on a website. So yeah, guys, if you guys haven't already, also go ahead and check out our community Discord linked down below. Check out my live stream as well if you guys haven't checked it out before. I haven't been streaming a lot recently, been very busy with work and also with this YouTube channel whenever I get the time to, but go ahead and follow me there for whenever I do tend to stream from time to time. No set schedule, obviously, as of now. And also, if you want to support this channel financially, check out our Patreon linked down there below as well. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.